Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great. In today's video I am going to design an Indian farm environment for film purpose. Some of the assets I downloaded from Sketchfab like this ruined castle and the statues. Some are from Megascans. The trees are from Unreal Engine Speed Tree. There are going to be two environments. First is this one that you are watching right now, and the one will be forest environment more focusing on level designing. When I was working on these environment I wish I knew about this tool that just came out recently. The graph and there are multiple tools in their library like scattering tool, that will allow us to scatter any type of assets realistically, and the other one I like the most is for realistic moss. If you remember I showed you to add moss textures on the assets, but it was just a color information that appeared on the assets, but if you want to achieve realistic and unbelievable results, you should get these tools. Look how big of a difference it makes under a minute. I wish I had it earlier, but it's out now I'll play with this tool in my upcoming videos. If you want to check out this software download it from the link in the description, and get a 30 days free trial. Now let's get back to the environment. First thing first I am sculpting a terrain in Maya, just because I can subdivide it multiple times. I am creating two terrain, one for foreground and one for background with less details. I have brought the terrains in Unreal now time to add the castle at its place. Now time to texture it first I am adding a the blend material I created using Megascans plugin, this is also an another reason for creating a terrain in 3D software. I am trying to blend these textures so they can look natural as I explained it in this video if you haven't watched it, then check it out the same pattern I'm following in this video. Now it's a good time to add the boundary walls before adding the foliage. Now I can add ground foliages in the scene, then I will add rest of the assets. At this point of time I can add the other assets like statues and trees. Remember one thing I am not placing these assets randomly, but according to concept or I planned earlier. At this point I think it's enough for detailing part, and now for lighting, I am only going to use the default Unreal Engine lighting like volumetric clouds, directional light etc, just to keep the scene look natural. As you can see just with this default lights the scene is already looking beautiful, if you want to learn more about lighting, I have ongoing series focusing on cinematic lighting, you can check it out too. That's it for today's video I hope you had fun and learned from it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel do it now and never miss an update. I'll see you all in my next video.